Hello everyone, it's Dr. Strontium here, and today we are in Abernathy Farm, and the kindly denizens of Abernathy Farm have requested that we build them a small medical facility to heal what ails them, and I'm more than happy to bring you along for the ride. So, like I sometimes do, I've already laid out the foundation because some of the most boring and time-consuming parts of the build involves the foundation. Let's get started. Let me tap the buttons really hard so I can annoy you all. Right, we'll need that. Just set it aside so we don't have to keep going back and forth through the menu. Let's try not to fall down either. Go there. Okay, we don't want that there. Alright. No, we want it to go the other way. Perfect. And we have this little porch where the pharmacist can dispense the medications. It's here. There. It's this one. This one. Grab that. So I just thought this would be a nice change of pace. I've been wanting to do a let's build a clinic for a while now that with mods we finally got all the pieces that we need. Oxygen tanks. Pretty much we got everything but, you know, a little microscope. But I'm not that damn picky. and I'm pretty fucking picky. going to be our operating room. God help whoever has to come in here. Again, like we learned while building a vault, we can use the natural lines on the floor to make sure that things are nice and even. Like so. There it is. Oh, you son of a bitch. There we are. Alright, and that'll go into our operating room, but let's try to cheat just a little. Oh, now you don't want to snap. Isn't that funny? How about now? Shithead. Oh, screw it. Alright, let's finish up the walls. In case you're wondering why Mr. Stronium is building a clinic instead of, you know, subjugating the wasteland to my bottomless appetite for power. Uh, this is court-ordered community service, and I do not have a choice in this. So the less we talk about it, the better off everyone will be. I think I'm just going to build clinics for the community. they got another thing coming. I will be back to burn this bitch to the ground. Alright, this looks like a pretty good shithole so far. Let's go ahead and save. Always quick save, because this game is very fucking unstable. I'd build a house on top of Mount St. Helens before I built one on this game engine. Let's go ahead and grab this. Like I did with the yard sale at uh, the Isle of Strontium, uh, I've just laid everything out so we don't have to spend 20 minutes cycling through the menu of all the shit that I have. this. Alright, what to take first? I'll go ahead and take the ice box. Presumably this is where you would keep uh, like blood packs and everything. We will take this clock off, even though it does kind of look cool there, but we're going to put the clock inside somewhere. In my eagerness to decorate the building, I forgot that we, we actually need stairs so that you know people can get in here. 
as far as handicap ramps go, you know, they're on their fucking own. The wasteland is not handicap accessible, so. Just have to get somebody to carry you up those stairs. Beautiful. And then we can also. Oh, oh well. sign up on top with neon lights that basically just says we have drugs that looks pretty good Let's see if we can move that up just a little uh, ah fuck it that looks pretty good all right, so while I'm thinking about it, I'm so eager to decorate, let's get some electricity in here. Now we're going to use the uh, cycle lights because uh, hopefully some of you are old enough to remember the film Natural Born Killers. And as you recall, they go to the drug zone toward the middle part of the film and it has that crazy green lighting inside. And that's what we're going to do here. Except for the operating room, it's just gonna have that one sterile light. All right, now the one thing I hate about these lights is that they actually have to be individually wired, which most of the times just isn't practical. So, let's use the rug that looks suspiciously like a patch of dirt. Uh, conduit, no, we want switches. Beautiful. stairs here for now because we'll have to get back up there to do the sign at some point. And the wiring looks a lot nicer because you tried to let's see let's just see what, see you got it hanging down like that it just gets in the way it looks like shit so all right we have power I'll tell you what we're gonna put one more conduit up here just to make sure that the neon lights actually have something to tap into i know we'll use the uh special one here with the super powered radius all right Quick save, and we'll go ahead and do the lights while we're outside the build menu. So. All right, so it takes ten clicks. So nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn, I overshot. I think. Oh well. Perfect. All right, let's start moving shit inside. All right, so what all we got here? Start with the chemistry station. And probably not everything you see here will go into the clinic, but we will try to get as much of this shit in here as possible. in there before that does. Hello. 
Wish moving in real life was this easy. using these airplane uh, benches for the waiting area. It just, it looks like really uncomfortable waiting room furniture. I'll tell you what, I don't have one set out, but let's, let's grab one more. And just kind of round out the waiting room. in the operating room. Alright, yeah, somebody's definitely gonna die in here. Please catch sepsis. Go to Diamond City and buy a recipe for penicillin. And then the doctor's office will be over here. pre-war desk is really forgiving with the edges. What else we need? Need a filing cabinet. And I've gone ahead and put this on a rug because you know how much I hate filing cabinets. They are the bane of my existence. We'll, we'll kind of cock it at an angle so we can put the trash can there. Chair. So I'll just go ahead and move some of this shit closer to the actual build area. I think I decided I don't need that shit. Ah, yes, because nothing says healthcare like a cigarette vending machine. So it's right here next to the dispensary. plant, grab a potted plant, set it right here, keep it nice and cozy. Alright, now this is from the Better Stores mod, and this is actually a, uh, like, medical shop, and it functions as such. And it looks a lot better than putting a lemonade stand in here. Uh, I'd, I'd be kind of worried if I went to the doctor and the the receptionist was like behind a really shoddy wooden stand. I would be very concerned. Well, I'm thinking about it. Get the rugs back out because we will need another rug or three. If you haven't noticed, we have this little table with this uh, very artistic stack of drugs on top of it, and that is for a reason. I will show you what that reason is. So we're going to put the cash register on top of this. And I know this, this looks crazy. Like, what the fuck is Mr. Stranium doing? And all I can say is, how fucking dare you question me? Because while this shop stand here is very useful, the cash register that comes with it does not actually go on top of it. So, we're going to cheat the system a little here. And, oh yeah, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's see how that sticks out. Hmm, we can fix that too. Beautiful, that works for me. Now we have cash register, because, you know, even in the wasteland, if you don't have any money, we're going to let you die. You're, you're not getting health care. As you can see by this hefty stack of coffins. So we'll get 
probably what is one of the most sophisticated pieces of hardware in the building. Let's see what else we got here. I don't think we'll need that one. Magazine rack. Nothing spreads germs better than a stack of old magazines. Perfect. And go ahead and grab that other big ass healthy fern. That, that plant looks way too healthy. Set it in here. Try to angle it so maybe some of the branches aren't coming through the wall. Yeah, that looks good. Go ahead and grab this clock. Set it right here, I think. Yes, that looks good. Oh, uh, for anyone who might be interested, this particular uh, decor style that you see throughout Fallout 4 is uh, a style very popular in the late 50s and uh, middle 1960s called Googie, spelled G-O-O-G-I-E, and you should totally look it up because a lot of the architecture is really sweet, like the uh, the Las Vegas sign is a classic example of Googie architecture. And that's been the Nerd Minute with Mr. Stronium. Let's get back to actually doing something. So we're going to put this medicine cabinet here. Now this is basically the pharmacy. This right here. And all these drugs come from the decorations and furniture expansion pack mod. And I've actually found, here I'll show you. You know, along with my little uh, conduit trick and this, I might just become a big famous YouTube star. As soon as I remember what I was going to show you. Yes, the shelves. Alright. Let's go ahead and quick save. Mr. Stronium likes his quick save. Alright. Shelves. See, we'll, just... we'll use the cabinet that I actually use. That way, if it doesn't work the same way, it won't blow up in my face and make me look stupid. Alright. So we have the cabinet. A cement pillar. Raise it up. Get this out of the way. Now, instead of the top shelf, you can now place shit on the middle shelf. Then. Now you can play shit on the bottom shelf. Still can be a little finicky. But do the bottom shelf. Bring some bitch down a little. And that's how you get shit on all three shelves. Thank you, Mr. Pillar. I love you. I love you so fucking much. Thank you, No Respawn, for telling us about the pillar. Got a shitload of buff out. Alright, back to work. Hmm, it started to rain. Let's sleep out in the open on this soggy hospital bed until the weather clears. Guess that was lightning. Damn it, the rain just stays around all day. It'll be sunshiny. You'll take a one hour nap. It'll be a fucking hurricane that lasts 12 hours. All right, nobody look. I'm totally not cheating right now. Totally not cheating right now. That's not the right one. Oh, the sun just came out all of a sudden like. Isn't it beautiful? All right, let's continue. We're almost done. Now, this is just a regular diner counter, and it would have supported the cash register. We could do this. Creates hmm, not too much of a choke point. Yeah, I think that looks nice. I was going to put it here, but I probably want to use something that can be rug glitched here, which I have just the item in mind. Yeah, that big weird metal.
metal cabinet thing. Like, has anybody ever actually seen a piece of furniture that looks like this? Maybe I should just check my privilege. Maybe I'm just used to really nice furniture that's made out of airplane parts. counter Put the safe over there first let's get some of these goodies off of the safe we'll put this right here yeah that looks nice let's get go on top and come on yes now that is beautiful we have a fire extinguisher attached to the back Actually, I don't know why you would need a fire extinguisher in a clinic, but fuck it, safety first. Put it next to the first aid kit. Yeah, if, if OSHA ever shows back up, they, they won't be able to close us down this time. I think just to be a shithead, I'm going to put the wheelchair right here. Yeah, at the bottom of the stairs. Alright, what else we got? We got an ashtray. Two hospital beds. Mm, two finicky hospital beds. We don't want too many people crashing in here. We have too many nice beds. Everybody in the settlement will pretend to get sick, and then nothing will get done. Two beds and too many chairs. I love the Vault Tech nightstand. Mm. Oh, that, that's, come on, come on. Beautiful. Uh, the beds don't like it though. Here, let's see if we can make that look just a little bit nicer. Oh, you you want to play those games? I can play those games too, motherfucker. Oh my, look how cooperative you are all of a sudden. Thank you, thank you so fucking much. Beautiful. Okay, you want a rug too? Everybody's getting a rug now. I, I am so sick of this furniture and this fucking collision detection. You should get smart with me. There. I don't think we'll need this stool. I like this one. This is like a really sweet 50s kitchen stool looking thing. Mm, we're running out of shit to decorate with. And it would seem that someone has stolen the oxygen tanks. Mm. I bet someone's in the big house right now getting high as a fucking kite. One here. Looks cool. Then we'll put one right here. Also, because it looks cool. Oh, fuck it, we'll put this in here, even though it's a little too clean for this settlement. This is where we'll put the body parts. And while we're here, I'll just go ahead and use this sink. Just get rid of the one we've got outside. That's right, I'm talking about you. surgery table here. Some IV stand. Put that right here. 
you know, that room's not actually going to be used for anything, so we just decorate it with a bunch of junk. Somebody will use this as a bed, so. Uh, let's just go ahead and put a cabinet in here. The cabinet in the woods. This is the most angry piece of furniture in the entire pack. You know what? Screw you. Should have known it was an institute trash can. That's why it was such an asshole. All right, shithead, you asked for it. What a shithole. All right, so let's see. we got one chair for somebody to sit at the bedside want to. You can tell I've been to enough doctor's offices. Put this in here. Make sure it's not. Okay, good. I was actually hoping that. Oh, well, I guess we didn't need a rug for the everything. IV stand. Let's put it. Where can we put it? I will just put it right here. Fuck it. I noticed the trash can I said I was going to put there is not outside. So, let's see. Go over to decorations. And let's see. Office. And we should have. Bingo! Trash can. There it is. Okay. All right. I don't think we need anything else out of this tab. All right. What else we got up here? One more IV stand. So this one's got Radaway in it. And we'll put it right here. We got a bunch of space here. We'll put some medical shit. And it's got a mysterious looking bucket. enough of these fucking trips. Hmm. Okay, then. Oh, I bet it's the cooler. I bet this is a cooler from a mod and not the vanilla game cooler. Oh, boy. Now, the thing is, I don't know why somebody, like, took the time to mod in an item that's already in the game. It's kind of bizarre. Alright, does this go up there? No, it does not. And... No, it does not. Oh, well, we'll just put it on the floor next to the chemistry station. That'll look good. here. It's be like the bucket we used to mop up the blood. And all we have left are these coffins. Let's see here. If you stack them opposing each other, it's much more space effective. So we'll put the coffins right where they need to be. 
behind the medical clinic. Yes, this is where we need to keep them. They will be needed. All right, let's quick save real quick, and then we'll put some neon up, and then this some bitch will be done. Hmm, probably want to put a door on it, but other than that, other than the door and the lights. use the junky generic ass red door. The red door has served us well in the past. Alright, neon lights. Light red. We want to go with green. And since we're going to have a space there, I just go ahead and use the letter that comes after the next letter. So since it's going to be we have, be space, and then age. So use the H, and then all we have to do is move the A over, and we have it perfectly spaced. So the next word will be drugs, so we use... P. See, the P looks like an R. You have to watch out. Right, P and then D. And obviously I didn't center this or anything, but it's junky and wastelandy and I don't really give a damn. We'll be lazy, however, and put an exclamation point on the end so that it actually looks like we're doing something. Yeah, several of them. Get rid of that S. And one more of that. There, we have drugs. We're doing well. We have drugs. And let's use some of these new green vault tech lights that are all the way at the end of the menu. Excuse me while I have a quick vape. Ah, oh, that was refreshing. All right. So let's just light this whole big ugly thing up with some green lights. There's a motherfucker in here now. Just that one single light, I, th I think that makes the room look pretty sweet. So that's done with. Alright, let you go. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to do here. Make sure we haven't left any furniture out. I don't want the Abernathys getting sore at me. I guess not. It seems like we forgot something. I know we need a doctor, but you know, I am a doctor. So, let's have us a quick look around. So we'll go around the outside just so you can get an idea of the structure of the building. That doesn't look the most remarkable. Could have used a different wall there, but this is the back side, so it doesn't matter quite as much. All right, so we've got our little surgery thing here. Oh, I know one thing you can do. I'm not going to bother. I will bother doing it. It won't take but a moment. Let's see, decorations, miscellaneous. There it is, okay, so.
pick a light that looks nice. That'll look nice, but more importantly, oh well, that works. I love how this game has absolutely no fucking depth perception whatsoever. Alright, there. Boom, now we're in business. That looks nice. That looks cozy. Let's go inside. Alright, so we have our little waiting room. That could probably use another ashtray. Uh, real quick, ladies and gentlemen, just because Mr. Stronium has severe OCD. And it's also the first item in the menu, so boom. Let's see here, I should have some Massachusetts surgical journals. Go with a couple of Live and Love, some Guns and Bullets. Grognak the Barbarian for the kids. And is that all we've got? I guess uh, we'll go with Tesla Science. Tesla Science. And if that's not enough, I don't know what is. Yes, that looks nice. Boom. We've got reading material, ladies and gentlemen. Got our drug lab. Reception area. Talk to your friendly pharmacy staff and try not to piss them off. Workstation, that bell that should probably go over here, but. Mm. There, that's it. We're done. That's everything. Got our little hospital area over here. We've got our emergency operating room. Yeah, this shit looks like it was thrown together quite quickly. So yeah, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this. This was quite fun to build. I, I like building these little shacks here. And, uh, you know, if you need some buff out or whatever, uh, Bring caps. Bring caps or I will shoot you. Mr. Stronium does not tolerate beggars. All right. Let's do the obligatory spinny thing now. So everyone, I will see you in the next video. And until next time, we have drugs. And this is Mr. Stronium signing off. Goodbye.